pretty windy out here today. But I thought I'd try the champ anyway. Here it is right here. This is the Champ S Plus. Getting ready to fly here. And if you don't want the GPS mode in, like if you're flying inside or you're just doing a maiden like I'm about to do, you might want to turn off the GPS mode. Turn off those features. So to turn the GPS mode off, you plug in the battery, and then right away move the stick over on your radio and hold it. Like that. And then you'll see the tail there wagging four times. That means GPS mode is off. So that's all there is to it. Now we can go fly. It's really way too windy for it right now. You can see that the wind's blowing it around in my hand. People are asking me would it fly in the wind. Most people say, oh, this is good for a calm day. So what do I do? I take it outside on a windy day for the maiden flight, right? That's me. Well, there's some golfers out here. So I'll have to do the walk of shame if I crash. Because the golfers will be watching me. Now they say to throw it into the wind. Of course, that's natural for any plane, but... The wind's just kind of swirling around. I don't know. Let's see here. There it goes. I'm using the rudder to turn it around because it is a four channel. It wouldn't turn around with just the ailerons. But the rudder gives me plenty of authority. Looks like I don't need near as much throttle as I thought I did. I'm down a quarter throttle. And you can see the wind. The wind there is just working against me. So I had to throttle up. But folks, it does fly in the wind. So getting it down will be a problem, but maybe I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just having fun flying it. Boy, look at the wind buffeting that around. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just using the Mobius narrow angle right now. And I can hear that AS3X working, working hard to keep it level. So it's doing its job. Well, that wind is just blowing it everywhere. But Now this is just with the stock battery. Everything's stock. GPS mode is off. That's on page 12 in the manual. Boy, it's really getting high up there now. We got hurricane forces here. So, let's cut the throttle and see what happens. Okay, the throttle's off now. Oh, that's a, that's a trip. It's basically just soaring right now with no throttle. And here comes it. Look at that. Look at that. Man, I don't believe it. That was no throttle all the way down. Look at that wind blowing that thing. Look at that. The wind's about to blow it over. That's how windy it is out here. So. Nobody can tell me that this thing won't fly in the wind because it flies. So that was pretty cool. That was the maiden flight. So that's the Hobby Zone Champ S Plus with the DX8 radio. I didn't get the stock radio. I got the bind and fly because it's $149 for the bind and fly. And the radio that comes with it doesn't have the kind of range that the Spectrum radios have. You know, the, the real Spectrum radios. So, I just got, since I've got the DX8 and the DX6i, 
I can use that. I've even got a Spectrum module for my Tyrannus radio, and I was thinking of setting it up on that so I could get all the sounds and voices when I change flight modes and things like that. So it'd be kind of cool. But now we got to unplug the battery because that's what they tell you in the manual. And of course, I already know that after years of flying. Unplug the battery first and then turn off the radio because it might do something funny if you turn off the radio first. There we go. All done. Maiden flight is over. Enter flight. 